Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. I hope this Saturday day is good as it possibly be in these trying times. Uh, guess what? Uh, you might notice here, there's no waterfall working on my turtle pond. That's right, I came in today. Turtle pond is broke. Basically what happened is I'm gonna have to drain this whole thing because the actual pump separated from the line. I don't know what happened. I tried to fix it with the water in. So that's just one of the things we're gonna have to do today, but that's okay. We're gonna tackle every problem we possibly can. We also have to feed some snakes today. And in particular, I'm excited about Cupcake. I've been talking about how she seems to be settled in, but the last time she was at the Reptarium, she wouldn't eat for us and we had to move her back to BHP. So today is a day. She may eat, she may not eat. I'm not sure, but we're gonna thaw out some food for her. Uh, it's gonna be a great day. We'll get everything good. And together, again, we're gonna try to overcome the things that are happening in this insane world. Uh, we'll talk more about that later. Let's just go ahead and push our problems aside for the next, you know, 15 minutes or so and have a great day together. So as the pond is draining, I can come and feed snakes finally. And of course, this is the girl that I've been so interested to see what she's gonna do. Is she gonna take food? Is she not gonna take food? Oh, just look at that. Oh my gosh, that is so freaking awesome. You have, I got goosebumps right now. She took food. That means she is definitely settled in. That means she's gonna be a resident here for quite a while. I hope anyways, unless something changes. So that is absolutely incredible. I couldn't be more happy about it. That, I mean, how awesome is that? Let's hope Al eats. This is the one animal I really wanna get going. Come on, Al, you wanna eat, bud? Come on, buddy. Here you go. Oh, yeah, I like it. Wow! All right, I tell you what, that is such good news. The fact that now Al is eating cupcake bait. I mean, I can't tell you, this makes me so happy because like I had mentioned in the past, animals that come over sometimes take some time to adjust. Obviously, Al didn't eat the last like two or three weeks. So now that he's eating, that means he's adjusting well. That is so absolutely incredible. And guys, I just wanted to bring up something, you know, during this kind of whole Corona thing. I mean, I get the idea that uh, we're trapped in the house, we're going crazy, stuff like that. And, and I'm trying to do things that can, you know, entertain you guys and take your mind off things. You guys know I'm trying to take a positive approach to this. Let me know in the comments if you have any ideas of what I can do. You know, what else can we do? I've been thinking about doing maybe a daily Instagram live so that that way we can just hang out and talk for a half hour. Been thinking, obviously I talked about the virtual tours. Took some heat about it. I I'm sorry if you guys think that me doing virtual tours was a bad idea. I, I thought I was doing something that was going to be awesome and, and I apologize. I thought maybe a one-on-one -on -one for an hour would be really cool but I get if you guys don't like it but uh, we are gonna still offer those for the people that do like it but I want to know from you guys what else can we do to keep our minds off it keep positive like I've been saying all along this will pass yes it's gonna be hard yes we're gonna have pain it sucks in a million different ways but let's try to make the best of it let's not get into the hysteria where we're in this negative mode I know how that can happen so uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think I can do to help you guys even more because uh, I really do appreciate your support and I want to get through this together. Turns out my pump broke, so thank goodness Harbor Freight is still open. Got a new pump, just need to hook it up and then I can start draining this turtle pond. Looks like someone is uh, excited to eat. Come on, buddy, you wanna eat? Wanna eat? There he is. 
And we're giving rats this week instead of rabbits. And I talk about that all the time, like varying things up. You know, sometimes I give really big meals. And sometimes I give smaller meals and multiples and stuff like that. So this week, everything is gonna get rats. Let's go ahead and see if El Toro wants to eat right here. This will be the first time that it's fed since it's been at the Reptarium. So let's see if this little monkey wants to eat. You wanna eat? Look. So again, things are settling in pretty well here. And uh, it is awesome that uh, at least I have this to do. And I, I, I'm sorry that so many people don't have a lot going on in life. I know that boredom could lead to kind of stress and anxiety and stuff like that. I, you know, I'm, I'm very lucky that I get to come in here no matter what's going on. I get to do this and it definitely puts a smile on my face. Some of these enclosures you have no choice but to just crawl into and hope for the best. Sunfire, you ready? Yeah. Oh, there you go. It's actually kind of cool, to be honest with you, to be inside the cage. It, it may seem like it's a little bit more dangerous, but the truth is, is that I almost feel more comfortable because I can really read the animal and move around as much as I can. Whereas if they're in a cage and lunging out, uh, I don't have quite as much control. But uh, Sunfire is doing well over here as well. Laura, so what's going on? You doing moving all colubrids around? Yeah, just trying to organize for breeding. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. Breeding season's already here. Yes, it is. A lot to do, but I'll be a lot happier by the end of the day once this is done. <laughs> yes, I'll die, get that. So basically what happens is we start feeding out of brumation, and then uh, once females shed, males shed as well, but the females are like a pre-ovulation shed. You start putting males and females together, and then the next shed is actually a pre-lay shed. So it happens pretty quick with colubrids, unlike boas and pythons. So uh, do we have a lot of shed yet or not many? Uh, things are starting to, so starting i got to make so. sure next week I start yeah, putting, start males, putting males and females mm -hmm. together. And then, it's like I said, because it happens so quick in like a four to six week period, as opposed to the pythons where it's like almost like a six month period, it's really important to breed every single day, you know, so switching males is really important. So, lori has got a lot of work to do rearranging things. I've got a lot of work to do feeding and all that other stuff. So, let's just uh, jump in. came and oh, said that we have another little baby crested gecko. This one looks nice too, it's nice oh and gosh, dark. It's really cool, I love, look how feisty that monkey is, he's just jumping around. There's it is, monkey. it's got some, oh my gosh, that's crazy. It's got some beautiful color to it, that's the thing. I mean, we've got some nice crested geckos, I don't even really pay attention to it, but every time we hatch a baby, I'm like, oh my God, they are so absolutely adorable, look at that thing. In there they're so jumpy when they're that little <laughs> i know that's awesome so, so we should have another little one hatch out maybe okay, tonight yeah. or something gotcha yeah because obviously most geckos will lay two eggs and that's just a sibling ready to go we also uh, want to take a look at the dracula baby gargoyles yeah, now really that good. they shed oh my gosh those look incredible wow unbelievable i mean when that red starts to come into these guys oh my gosh are they going to be gorgeous Look at those guys. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so the the like orangish red stripe in the middle yeah. there will probably get a lot more red, red yeah. and that orange will definitely probably turn red as well. Oh that is so it's awesome. So super colorful when they get bigger. So again, BHB a uh, lot of work over here, which will be nice to kind of jump on that, you know, as uh we're not doing as much at the Reptarium with open hours, so uh, things are heating up here. We're gonna have leopard geckos, colubrid eggs, python eggs. Uh, it's gonna be an amazing Still summer. Still plenty to do here. Still <laughs> plenty to do here. So essentially what happened is I can see now that I drained the water a little bit that the pump itself just popped off the intake to the actual waterfall and the biofalls. Like, I think it might not have been tightened enough. I'm not 100% sure because I didn't do this one, but uh, it looks like it just popped off. Now that I drained it enough and get both hands in there without drowning, I'm able to tighten it back up I think I have it fixed I'm not so sure so uh, let's plug it in see if the waterfall works see if everything goes on and then hope for the best all right so 
Waterfall's working, pump seems to be going. The biofalls will fill up and then eventually come over. Now the only thing I'm worrying about now is it looks like that was it. It was just the connection just that somehow popped off. Uh, the only concern I have now a little bit is remember last time we had an issue like this, the pond leaked and literally leaked out. So I'm hoping this waterfall doesn't back up like it did last time and leak on the floor. So the next 10 or 15 minutes is gonna be a little bit scary. Again, biofalls will fill up here in the next few minutes and then start to work. So. Let's hope this is fixed. Uh, this pond is giving me quite a run for my money. There's no doubt about that. Jeffrey looks so good in this new enclosure over here. And uh, he is definitely fired up and ready to go. This is the first time that we've actually offered him food at the new place. So let's see what he does. Oh yeah, he is, uh, he's, he's settled in really well. So that's pretty awesome. Good job. And again, in this new enclosure, he's gonna get big pretty quick. And not too long from now, I'll have to move him up into something even larger than this. You guys ready for this? Casper! <laughs> Casper! Come on, Casper! Whoa! Casper! <laughs> He's always so much fun. And you know, I uh, I know some people have mentioned that, you know, I was kind of not talking about a couple different things. One of the things was obviously I just made a video about my friend Forrest. That was uh, emotionally difficult for me, obviously, and and uh, we've been busy here, you know? I mean, obviously, there's a lot going on with the open of the Reptarium, now the whole virus issue and stuff like that. And obviously, one thing I did want to kind of have a little talk with you about, uh, some of you know this already, others don't. And honestly, I just wanted it to be the right timing. Uh, Eric and Mary, who have been very, very important to me, uh, have decided to move on and, and pursue other careers. Um, that's uh, the way it goes, and I know some people are trying to you know draw the drama we're still friends I mean we like Eric he was here for grand opening we like Mary she was here for grand opening they're still friends with us they're gonna hang out they're gonna still come they're gonna be with us Noah and Eric are still gonna film some things they're gonna do a podcast together we're not enemies at all I mean uh, you know things happen guys I would have loved for them to stay with us because they were so great they were great people uh, great employees just good to have around and we will miss them a lot and I know you guys will miss them too because they were so amazing but that's kind of how things go you know I've been in business for 32 years people come and go I would have done anything I could have done to keep them here but at the same time I want what's best for them right I would be a bad person if I wanted what was best for me and not for them and I feel that way about everyone in my crew as much as I hope that they stay with me forever I realize sometimes opportunities come up and they decide that it's best for them and that doesn't mean they have to leave on bad terms it means that I can be happy for them and I can hope that they do well as a matter of fact they even started a YouTube thing where they put out a video and I wish them well on YouTube too because I know people love them and they want to keep up with them and uh, it, that's totally good and if they need my help I'll do whatever I can do for them. We appreciate what they did for us and we will continue to be friends with them and yes they will be sorely missed by me and everyone else in the crew but again it's not like they went away forever. Look at Chewie and myself are still friends after he stopped working here seven or eight years ago. We're going to continue the relationship with Eric and Mary for many many years to come and like I said you guys will see them on here every now and then you'll see them with Noah. We love them, so uh, there it is, guys. I, I hope you guys understand, and we'll, we'll be all right, and they'll be all right. It'll all be good. There you go, girl. Just offering the baby emerald tree boa. This is the first time that I'm offering food to it since it's been at the Reptarium. Let's hope it's gonna eat. Definitely looks really interested. See how it's just chopping up real quick? It's definitely open. Oh, there it goes, it took it. That is so awesome. How absolutely incredible. These guys are beautiful. And now that they're eating, that is a great sign. Come on, pickles. Want to eat? Come on, pickles. There she goes. 
such a beautiful snake, I tell you what. And again, you know, I know I'm going to continue to say this because I want to continue to inspire you guys. Let me know in the comments what you're doing specifically to kind of break that anxiety of being locked in, not being able to go to restaurants and bars, and not being able to do all the recreational things. Is there something that people that are reading these comments right now can say, that's a great idea. Maybe you have kids that aren't in school and you want to keep them excited and happy and not getting completely stir crazy. So uh, let me know in the comments what you guys are doing. And, uh, and again, I want to continue to kind of build this over the next coming weeks so that uh, we can both kind of continue to figure out the best way to get through this. Come here, kid. <laughs> and that concludes the feeding of the Reptarium animals for the day. Again, I don't know what you guys are doing to relax, but I think I'm going to end my day with the fish spa. And uh, again, guys, I keep saying it, we will get through this together. I'm anxious to kind of be a part of it with you, and uh, I appreciate everything you guys do for me. You guys are amazing. Your support is incredible. And if you want to take some more time out of your day, you know, I do a podcast. You can listen to about two hours of us rambling as a family. It's called Checking In. You can subscribe to it right over here. Listen to it. A playlist of vlogs right here to, again, take up time. Subscribe to the vlog channel over here if you don't mind. Turn those post notifications on. Remember to be safe out there. Have the best day you possibly can. Be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you guys tomorrow.